Yeah. I ain't got no headphones. <coughs> why, why I'm the nigga ain't never got no headphones, son? I don't like it. You know, niggas be, be disrespecting me, son. I, you know, I appreciate this. I come to work like everybody else. We were doing a whole lot of, like, headphone switchery. No, that, that seems pretty funky. We back. You got sound systems? Everybody got sound systems? Huh? What up, G? Chill back a lane. Every day, <laughs> ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed every day. This is your show, we can start whenever, but I'm, I'm ready to go. Let's go. Oops. Ain't nothing changed uh, every really day. <laughs> I got, hey, hey, I'm finna email y'all like all the all the video links we gonna play today. Okay. Just give me some time for that too. This ain't every day. Ain't no fuck that. Feel us, feel us. Tell me, can you feel us? I got mine, I got mine, I got mine. Fuck with mine, fuck with mine. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Cause I'm rolling with you. It's an everyday, it's an everyday thing. Hey, I've been eating, I've been eating junk food all day. <laughs> Bang! I just love this candy, man. Lemon oh, heads. Yes, that is my favorite. And grape heads. For real. Mm. We in this building, just be taking it back to the eighties <clears throat> with the hip hop. I'm eating the old school candy too. Yeah. <laughs> So y'all know we gotta talk about Dr. Dre because I don't think we talked about that. We was off that week, huh? Yeah. How he got handcuffed in front of his house. Yeah, but did you want to just go straight to? Oh yeah, you want to go straight just all hip hop, yeah, no yeah. news? Okay. But we'll still still end up talking about some. Uh, he choked his ass. Y'all, let me get some apple heads, man. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> You should have bought you something. Tell me something. Man. <laughs> I don't want to live nasty while I'm like that. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. Now. Crazy. Like man, I had to do my song. I heard the song on my waiting. television. And I was like, oh shit, that's my show. Like, I had a dream that I heard like, this song on my television. Oh, yeah. Just some dude, just letting you know that. Okay, yeah. We're already in someone. What's happening? What's up, Cam? What'd you say, Lonnie? Ain't a joke, so I say. <laughs> I'll tell you this. So why are drinks, If though? you don't know, now you know, now. If you don't know, now you know. If you don't know. We don't show a video. They handle Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Quick Fix. We're in the building. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, indeed. I'm Crazy Bone. Bum Keep G. I'm Lottie B. Sitting in for cool ass KD right shout now. Cool ass KD on the set. Right now, she on set working. You know what I'm saying? She's um, shooting the what? Uh, I tell you, Toyota, Toyota commercial. commercial. Oh, what a feeling! I know. Cool. You know what I'm saying? That's what they hey, like, man, man, I'm I'm just glad to see y'all. All y'all doing something. I know. We like you know, we hip hop. We hip hop. You know, you just got finished working with Mike Ebb. Oh, I know. You, got, oh, you know, Shaq, Shaq just booked you yes, on this show. You know I am auditioning I'm for which a I'm going, company, yeah. which, which we going to. Cause, cause, oh, yeah. Hey, look, this is going to be the first one, though. This the is the first, first one. And you actually checked the date. When he yes. texted me back, it was the like, first one I'm gonna make I said, it oh, he coming. He was like, I, I checked the see. date. I was like, oh, okay. he coming. Okay. I said, no. No, because About I was time. like, as soon as you said that show, I was like, I said, hey, yo, I'm off that day. I'm going to this show. We, I'm going to this show, but, so it's going you down. You're going to have a good time, so you're going to see why Mike hey, got we about to go kick girl. it. We about to go kick it. I'm going to see what you that's really what, do. That's I what know. Oh, it's Lottie it B. It is August 2nd, you know what I'm saying, 2016, and we is on the court. And it's my baby's birthday today. Happy birthday, oh, oh, man. Uh, which one? Which one? It, it, it's, uh, okay, he told me don't call him Scooty <laughs> no more. He told me call him Latron, so it's Latron's birthday today. How old is he? 
He's 15. Oh, okay. And I'm okay. so sorry to announce he didn't get anything but love. Damn. And I told him nah, because every got... time Miss Porter called my phone, uh -oh. I hated your birthday. Oh, he's on Miss Porter. Okay. okay. Yeah, Miss Porter called my phone about 17 I, times. Yeah, today. see, Miss Porter see? Called. see, they got to learn, though. Yeah. They gotta learn, yeah. You know? But I, I, I took him to Cold Stone because, you know, it is a special uh, day. Yeah, 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 that's good. You know, I'm like, you, know <laughs> you know, you can eat, but you can't get nothing else. Yeah. You know. <laughs> he's soaking. Yeah, you know, you know. Let's go, Happy birthday. As long as you're fed, you know. Yeah. yeah, everybody, welcome back to the Quick Fix. You know what I'm saying? We in the building. Today. Hey, you know what, though, too? Let's shout out little Kristen before we even think about oh, her. Yeah. Real quick, you know what I'm saying? Because she up. She said, let's shout her out. Man, they out there chilling, man. You know What's what I'm up? Saying? How you doing, baby girl? We always thinking about you on the Quick Fix. Yes, we oh, are. Man. Hey, mama. Always, always, always. She hey, we got we to, gotta, bro, we should just start bringing her home, her on every week just to be like, you know, right. how you doing? You know what? Like for real. You the boss, so we gonna make that happen. I mean, we should. Like, right, come on, bro. We can, we can, we can. She about to start school. We can make time for that. No, 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 no. I want to call until, in every night at ten. Until she starts school. <laughs> hey, you, know, <laughs> you know when she starts school, like she gotta go to bed. Fuck it up in school. Look, <laughs> Christmas just a flunk. Christmas be going to school talking about everything. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's what I want. Yeah, but that's good. You know, that's what I want. That's real. You know what I'm saying? So check it out. This show is gonna be a real special show because we paying homage. We pay, we well, we gonna we oh, gonna take yeah. it back to when hip hop first started. What? We just gonna groove with these yeah. videos. We just gonna talk some history. Talk to us. We gonna see how much, the, um, you know, our listeners know. Okay. Go see how much hip hop trivia they know because right. you know they claim they hip hop. They claim they like real hip hop music. So we gonna see if they you. Know, and we starting at nineteen because technically okay. they say the first hip hop song was released in nineteen seventy nine. And it sure was. Sure was. Okay, so yeah. we started in 1979. 79, 79. Yeah. Okay. Summertime, Sugar Hill Gang. Sugar so, Hill yeah. Gang, yeah. Are yeah. oh, we about to post the same? Well, yeah, my bad. Everybody know that one. Shit. I mean, I mean, but we gonna, we gonna, you know what I'm saying? I want to see how many people know they mm -hmm. hip hop like they say. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they say, no, they hip hop. Oh, yeah, sure. let's check it. And, we gonna, and, 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 like and, and this is just part one because it's so much, it's so much music, bro. We can probably get through the. We probably get to the probably not even get to the eighties tonight. You know what I'm saying? But hell. we gonna try, but you know, like this is part one. We're gonna do this because we gotta get through the nineties. We're gonna go all the way up until now. Right, you right. You know what I'm saying? Like so we can just show people how hip hop has evolved, how it's changed for the good and bad. Right. Cause this is where you learn this type of stuff. Yeah. And so it's and like so you're on the quick fix. We teach y'all the hip hop history. And yeah. some of the songs cool. we're gonna do is stop. After we play the song, we may stop before or after and kind of talk about the song and what it meant to that era, yeah. what it meant to the lifestyle, or what it meant to the, you know, the dress code or the culture, what that MC meant at that time when he was reigning, you know, how he had people dressing, you know, versus anything like that. So we're going to see all that, yeah. you know? Because exactly. it's definitely like hip hop sets a trend. It seems like for like, I think it's right for about 10 years and then the trend, someone comes in and kind of sets a new trend, but yeah. that's definitely a mark of hip hop is yeah. that it's going to yeah. take the culture with it, I, you know? I mean, man, always, man. That's cool oh, yeah. too. I mean, it, man, it's there's so much culture inside of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's groups that brought it's groups that created culture within the hip hop culture. So it's so much history. There's so much history in this. You know what I'm saying? It's like we, we can talk for days and days because now we at that point yeah. now. Hip hop is at that point now to where okay, we can talk about our history now. Because we have one. history too, yeah. Because remember, look, remember when hip hop, you know, because hip -hop was young, you know, because, because bro, like hip hop is just now, we're just now starting to see, you know, like, like senior citizens in hip hop. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we that's just real. we just now starting to see that though. Yeah, that's yeah. real. You know what I'm saying? Like because that's how young hip hop was, but now we just now starting to see that. Like and like, it's crazy because now it's turning into a real genre. Because you know, like if you look at R and B, you see those cats. You think it, you look at rock and roll mm -hmm. like we now moving into that now so yeah. now it should be like this is this is what it is you know what i'm saying yeah, very well established and accepted yeah. art form you know what i'm saying that's exactly what this is oh, yeah. yeah no it is definitely miss <laughs> yeah. terrence talking yeah. about who's the senior citizen in hip-hop oh it's a lot of uh, <laughs> run dmc yeah oh my gosh, she said her name well, she said her name, name. Hey, no, 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 great no, one too. he had it he yeah. No, yeah, but that's, in the eighties, like that's real. Like, that's real. That's real. But even like we were talking about, we're going to continue to talk about with this hip hop thing. But that, that's what I'm asking y'all. Remember when hip hop it didn't it didn't actually have it. It had clothes that they made. It's like they went to the thrift store and put things together. They didn't have. Then they said the yeah. thrift store. Yeah, and, we didn't have a jewelry. brand. Yet. Like, we didn't have a brand yet. Like you know, and it was jewelry. Yet, wasn't there yet. Remember when it was early? 
we just putting other things together to yeah. make our own kind of Niggas come stuff, on stage you know? with, um, <laughs> yeah, see, you know, I'm glad I came up a little bit later, you know, you know, I love my hip hop niggas right. back in the day, much love. Oh, you know, man. You know, Early hip hop. They wore some tight clothes. I'm glad about you know, that, too. You know, you know, you know I would have I never came on stage with. You know, with shoulder pads, with feathers coming off Ooh. of them. No, just, just not me. But the girls just like it. I'm just saying. You the know, girls I don't have the We like it. I'm just saying, just not me, though. Remember just, Cool just, J? Just that's why Cool J talked talk about that up. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah. Just but back then, it didn't mean anything. It just was a style. Now, yeah, it's kind of yeah. like, it means something a little well, different. Rap, that's so. how fast rap shifted. That only lasted. That that style only reigned for about, from from the early days until at least, what, 82, 81? I see y'all. 19, no, it didn't last until 81. Like, at least, like, 70s. 78 at least to like 1980 it probably lasts or 81 mm-hmm. after that after DMC really and them broke everybody learned to uh, dress that way you know what I'm saying they were like this is the dress code how did yeah, DMC dress yeah. no but see no like Jam Master J tell them no, about no. Jam Master J he's the one they who first started. came out you know they, they came out with the leather jackets and you know, like the Adidas and the, you know, like the oh, little hats. Oh, that's coming yeah. back now that's oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah look at him the little came the little came after them with like the little jogging suit with yeah. the you know, like the suits oh yeah, guys like started wearing sweatpants and, and then, like, yeah, hip hop. Yeah. Hip hop has to had to slowly like create their uh, their image. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But it all came together, you uh-huh. know. Because first we, we wore, cool. first we wore other we people's cool. clothes, we cool. and we didn't get our own clothes until like Fubu came and Carl Kanai. Those were the first two. But now, like clothing that we had. But if you think Fubu. about, Fubu. but yeah. if you think about where it came from to where it is now, like. And this is true, bro. I don't care what nobody say. Hip hop, the culture of hip hop, right. determines what's cool all over the world. That's mm-hmm. real. They deter- hip hop determines what's hip all over the world. All over the world. If I it agree. ain't if it ain't hip in hip hop, it ain't working. Then yeah. It ain't hip. I agree one hundred. Like that's bottom line, bro. That's bottom line. Even down to female so, uh, fashion. So oh, yeah. hip hop oh, has yeah. done. Oh, hip hop yeah. has like went beyond its boundaries and achieved what they said it wasn't going to be. It was right. it was supposed to be a fad, but it has broken those boundaries like I mean, when you, 10 times over. And like, okay, we up here when y'all said crazy. that, y'all was down there. Yeah. They didn't say it was going to be a fad. When you go to people's concerts, like, everybody will come dressed up like you, like thousands and thousands of people. So that shows you that that's what the fashion is. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. go to a concert, a female concert that you really like, we all going to be dressed like that female. We all going to have our little outfits on, but that's, that's how we dress in. You that's know what real. I'm saying? That's why that's we can real. put it together, every single thousand of us. Because yeah, we was all in formation us. at the Beyonce concert. Right. Our hats was hitting each other like, girl, get your hat. That's what got running in that uh, contract with Adidas when they first won because, you know what I'm saying, he said everybody hold their Adidas up one time and the, the Adidas uh, dude happened to be there, a representative. At the side of the concert, he told them, "You're gonna guys gonna have your own shoe." Yeah, you bro. Like, like you got a hundred thousand people in Madison Square Garden lifting their Adidas up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, and and, and and hip hop has broken many many boundaries in music, bro. Like hip hop has broken those boundaries. Like people who said genres of music that said they would never mess with hip hop. Yeah, they had no choice. Yeah, they had to. They had no choice but to incorporate it in some way. Had to, from country, western, and then, it, and then, it, and then it become, because hip-hop has become pop. Hip-hop yeah. has become EDM. Hip-hop has become R&B. Hip-hop has become all these genres, bro. Yeah. It has taken over. It has become, like, all this stuff. And like So when people really need to be, like, watch out when they say, I mean, because, like, like hip-hop is going, has, has many different genres. And if and when people understand this, then they'll know. Then people right. will stop saying that, oh, this hip hop today, I ain't feeling it. Da, da, da. Even though you may not be feeling it, it's helping hip hop evolve. Right. Everything that that has came through hip hop has is the reason it's where it's at right now, and it's going to continue to change whether you like it or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like music change, just like life change, whether you like it or not, it's going to change. You can be back then, but like. I'm tired, you know what I'm saying? I can't keep up if you want to, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean... And I hear a lot of R&B singers actually complain that it has to be a hip-hop artist on their first single to even get it on the radio like that, you know? And and I'm going to say something, too, because that's funny. Back in the day, like, uh, uh, say guys like uh, Father MC, you know what I'm saying? They do their things. uh, It was different guys who would... um, uh, They do their, like, they'll be able to vote. 
they was R&B guys, but they never hired nobody to do their raps on their thing. You know what I'm saying? Early kind of R&B dudes, a lot of those dudes would say they little, even Bobby Brown, you know, uh, the little raps he rapped, somebody probably write it, but he'd do his own thing. Like a lot of dudes used to write, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. R&B guys, Teddy Riley, he have his own rump shaker. When it's time to rap, he's, he's got guys that's doing it. You know what I'm saying? Now it's kind of like you got to have a MC. It's been like that since it's been started. But... You know, it, it really doesn't have to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. It hey, doesn't have to be. Hey, so on this show, like I told everybody earlier, we paying homage to hip hop from the '80s through the '90s. Oh yeah. Part one, because we might have to come back and do another '80s to the '90s. Because like when I was sitting back today, like just thinking of songs and videos to play, I was like, yo, there's no way we gonna do it in even two hours. Yeah. Right. Two hours when I, bro, I filled up one hour like just like. Yo, I can't wait to hear the cuts, bro. Mm -hmm. Bro, it's it's gonna be some real stuff we playing. You know what I'm saying? So we go we gonna go into the first video right here and go into the first commercial. This is the very first hip hop song that was known to chart whatever the Sugar Hill Gang, Rappers Delight, and y'all just y'all just watch watch the video and watch how everything changed from the video to the song to and and just just pay attention to everything in the video because I was watching everything. Oh yeah. So let's watch this. This is Sugar Hill Gang. Rapper's Delight. Let's go. <laughs> There's V-Net. Yeah. Go ahead. To the beat. And my friends, we're going to try to do the thing. See, I am one. Yeah, I do, do like some say hey, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> yeah, Purple and citizens. yellow, but first I got to... Give me senior citizen. Go get that. That's when they started line dancing their asses off. That's all my mama did. Heard my voice. That's right. Brought two friends along. <laughs> I like this, man. That's what my mama did. Every time she get in the club, she want to go on a <laughs> line. Just. <laughs> <laughs> she was cold outside, not in this motherfucker. Like no, it's hot in here. Why you still waiting on the truth, buddy? Hey. Tell them to play, um, come back in with the message. Grandmaster Mother Mill. Okay. Ooh, shit. And let it play for a while. Yeah. Yeah, some, um, um, some, some guys. Keep this, say, hey. I thought it said, um, <laughs> uh, what's up, y'all? Price is the answer. Getting rich is the answer. I still like it, though. Oh, okay. Hey, excuse me, I'm chewing on these lemon heads. They good as hell. But it said getting rich. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, so, but, I, mean, I was like, well, it's too late then. Like, okay. mm -hmm. Lemon Higgins is the best. Oh, shit. I'm trying to tell you, son. Woo! Hey, hey remember the box? He used to blow like it was a harmonica. Like I was in a band with Lemon Higgins box. Nigga. Yeah. Right. <laughs> See, they don't even make the boxes where they blow no more. Look, yeah, that box is different, nigga. though. It used to be white. Nigga, that's what I'm saying, bro. You know, bro, come on. We got to talk about this. We talking about it. Come on, bro. Come on. All this, ice cream truck. Nigga, you used to put the box in your mouth and the box used to blow. You be like, <laughs> look. That's all you do. The box don't even blow. That's fucked up, man. These kids missing out. Yeah. Yeah. These kids missing out. You gonna know when this commercial? Watch this. Box don't even blow no yeah. more, son. Motherfucker, I bet the nigga had a whole ha blow nigga had a whole harmonica like. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Come on, son. That's a chair. That's a travesty. That's what I'm saying, man. Something you know what I'm saying? Right. Box don't blow. Shit. All right, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm about to jump on this snack that TV that I'm <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I told him, uh, uh, the message, Grandmaster Money Mail. Tell him, hold on, do me hey, too fast. Hey, hold on, move too fast. Oh, he, he, he playing. No, no, he got, he got. There she go. What? Yeah, 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 come on, there you go. Letting y'all know that's stuff. Chippy check. And if you want to have a keep going on it. Hey, come on. Look at the video, though. Son. Hey, we'll talk about 
we'll talk about, you, you, we'll elaborate on the song a little bit. You listen to it, we'll ask about what you thought about it too, of course, or what, what it meant to you and this shit, all right? After, when you come back on. <laughs> Look at Michael. Yeah, uh, look at that woman. Look at that. He's rocking the He fucked up Michael's head. <laughs> oh, look, they dressed like the rockers, but, but they, didn't have no, uh, they didn't have what no rappers with no clothes. Smart. So they're the first Don't one. They dressed like rock stars. Cut yeah. our clothes to the stuff. It worked back then, though. It was rock. It was rocking. Yeah. But they still do it, though. They wear the tighter short shirts and the tighter pants. Well, the streets wore it, too. Yeah. Streets wore it in the streets still, too. Even in What's up, y'all? Crazy ladies living in the bag. Then he said, crazy ladies. Mango. <laughs> Back home. They got social security. <laughs> Mango on her own. Don't push next me. Is... Fix this up around. <laughs> that could be better. That makes me wonder how I keep them going under. Don't worry about them people, man. Or the Sugar Ray fight. The bill collector, they ring my phone. They had us just like some night. I'm not home. <laughs> but I had to get white like that, so I'm not home. <laughs> Broke my face. Let's get you <laughs> Listen, he's flowing. Yeah. Go Zoom. Because well, I'm eating. close to the edge. Still a girl. I'm trying to not Lemon to heads. My head. Ha 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 ha. It's like the jungle sometimes. It made me wonder how I keep them going under. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how, how I keep going. Going Oh, look at oh. that. Oh, Lottie B. <laughs> MC right. Lottie B, baby. <laughs> yeah. Hey, welcome back to the Quick Fix, man. Oh, uh, yeah. This, I'm Crazy Bone. Bum Keith G, man. Yeah, I'm Lottie B. Yes, sir. We chilling, man. You want to talk to us? Hit us up 855-878-4652. We're here on the Quick Fix Tuesday. Man. Yes, yes, saying? indeed. It's in, and today is pay homage to hip hop, 80 through the 90s day right now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We gotta. Uh, I mean, you know, we gotta find out. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna take calls in a minute. But you know what I'm saying. What I want people to, you know, like to focus on is like the first two videos we showed. Man, uh, did you see Michael Jackson Jr.? <laughs> That's where Michael Jackson got it from. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, don't you push me. Now. <laughs> <'Cause I'm laughs> so, too. so like hip hop, like you know, like 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 when hip hop first started, like it was said that you know what I'm saying, like like. If you see the way they dressed, right? It wasn't like it was. It wasn't like the culture. I mean, the the culture and the music, music and every everything hadn't come to a. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like people hadn't like registered in. Okay, this is hip hop. This is our own thing because they even said it. You know, like those people said, like we didn't have anybody before us. Right, right. But, but R and B singles like Rick James and you know, like people like that, like that we saw. So that's why. Like some of the rappers, like the earlier rappers, did you see like they were in that type of attire yeah. because right. that's what they came from. Yeah, they I made mean, it you know, hip. They kind of made it like hop, more funky, but hip, yeah. hip, hip hop had a beginning too. Yeah, yeah. You know <laughs> that what was it. We just showed you. You right know, now. It, I mean, <laughs> it ain't it ain't pretty, but it's beautiful. Yeah, you know, even early. It ain't it ain't pretty, but it's beautiful when you when you look at it. You know what I'm saying? Like. The way the, the way the way we had to start it wasn't pretty, but I, I mean, but the way it turned out is beautiful. Curtis Blow had on that tight little basketball uniform. Yeah, that was tight as hell. We gonna get into yeah. we gonna yeah, get into some <laughs> Kurt Blow. You know, he came in that. Yeah, he was kind of. He was the first one to kind of get on the tight. He, he was leaving that era coming to one. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he had the tight clothes yeah, on. Yeah, he did. He had the tighties. You know what I'm saying? But hey. It was like cool in basketball, that, yeah. though. We liked it. That's what they had back right. then. It was, it was wild, They still kind of tight. But to establish our own styles, that is kind of incredible, too, though. You know, to come up with our own yeah. situation. That's so, real. And, and, and that's real because that was a certain era. So, so Curtis Blow was kind of in that era, but he, like, kind of started, like, something new, though. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's play the Curtis Blow if I rule the world. <laughs> oh, yeah. And for everybody that don't know... Nas didn't make this song. Uh, Curtis Blow made it. Oh, I Nas, Nas, Nas made, made it and make it. it. Nas we made it and made it dope. Oh. But this is the original right here. Yeah. Oh. 
Hey, Bob. That's Rick Rubin. The wow, it is that, it's that song. The white dude is Rick Rubin. Hey. First white, what, second white dude in hip hop. Rick There we go. Front DMC. <laughs> to the girl, you already know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look at it. He took his shades off like, hey. like R&B news. <laughs> dip, 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 dip. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga Kurt Blow can't do I'm blowing, nigga. That nigga has to go. Woo! Woo! That nigga had a shag cutting his curls, son. Uh -huh. I rule the world. Hey, see, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We jamming. I rule the world. Uh -huh. wow. I rule all the What do you say? I, I love them, love them, baby. baby. <laughs> Black diamonds, pearls. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, you, you stole his shit. <laughs> I sure did, huh? Wow. Yeah, I stole some of his Curtis Blow shit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Lottie said, wait, wait, you stole the <laughs> Hey, she been doing her history, Lottie, this motherfucker, for real. Right? Hey, just, hey, hey, just watch what you learn, okay? <laughs> oh, watch I don't what say you learn. Look, hey, you getting down, Kane. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is real. real. Fucked up, huh? Even in Cleveland. <laughs> That'd be like, I still, thank God I still look the same. I know some niggas that look like hell. Boom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. I will love I love them, love them, baby. baby. Yeah. Diamonds and bells. Can you say that? That's crazy. That's crazy. I know that is not a song. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, hip-hop has a lot of things that people don't know about. That's what we're doing this show today because the people that don't know, they need to learn, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we do and then like it this. makes people feel comfortable to know that if you are evolving in a new style and it's something you heard before, it's okay because it just recycles itself. Like that's what hip hop is all about. So you can learn from your your you know somebody that you respect like, and take like, their style and, and what make I, it your own. You know. And what I tell and what I tell young artists all the time. Yeah. Because they ask me, you know, like how do you do? How do you how do you achieve longevity? You know, what I'm saying like your group has, and I'm like, bro. It all starts with not just loving the music, not just wanting to do the music, but you got to study the music, bro. Oh, yeah. You got to know who came before you. You got to know who did what, how it worked for them, how it didn't work for them. You got to put all that together, like, to make sure, like, that your career is maybe like theirs, but not so much like theirs. I want to do what they did, but I don't want to do, like, how that did right there. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. Like, it's all kind of stuff you can learn from this, like, and that's how you achieve longevity. When I got into the game, bro, I had so much hip-hop history in my brain. I had so much in my brain, I knew, okay, if we did this, it'll be done. If we do that, they ain't gonna, it'll be yeah. whack. Right, Stay right. away from that. But if we do this, it's gonna be crazy. That's hip-hop. And it always worked. The shit always worked, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and like, and, and, and that's, and, Bro, that's what I'm telling people. Like, always stay outside the box. Do some mm -hmm. shit that people don't expect you to do. Like, and you have to really. It has to really be something you really feel in your heart. Like, you really, even if it's a different style, you have to really own it and like really wear that. You know what I mean? And exactly. really perform it like from your heart. You know what I mean? Man, man, yeah, you get and, to. and like you said too, study this game. Even everybody studies a swimmer. Study great older swimmers from the 30s and the 20s of whenever they start swimming. Basketball players, if you want to be a good basketball player, develop and study old film. Watch that. Tyson said he watched dozens and tons of old and hours of old footage of, you know, f uh, fights from the 20s and things like that to watch and, and perfect 
other people they perfect your craft like that so you can watch other MCs. This is how that well, who's that boy that messed up Biggie's lyrics on that show? Yeah. If oh, you yeah. study the guys and him. no no disrespect to him because he may not have time to know it. He may not have to because he may be making money and he'll say things like that and that's cool. But to study those kind of people like Biggie is something good as an MC, so you'll know his lyrics when it's time to project them and spit them out again. You know what I'm saying? Because those are things that you want to have in your arsenal. You know, the more deadly you are, the more that you uh, absorb. You know, or say, I'm you know, what I'm saying with someone. You don't have to be a one-hit wonder if you sit down and take time to study. Yeah, because um, yeah. knowledge is power. Especially as an MC, For real. this MCism was something different. This everybody that's an MC really knows that it's easier to be an MC now than it ever was. MCism used to be something that's like, man, if that wasn't tight, man, they wasn't saying, oh, yeah, that's all right, man, you, you should keep working yeah. on it. They were like, man, get that shit out of here and, and keep doing what you're doing, do something else. Or they say something on you that make you just feel like you need to just take, pick up another trade. So check it out. So this next video, this next video I want to play is, you know what I'm saying, first of all, I want to say, like, the people... Because I heard somebody saying, like, you know, like, hip-hop today is making too many songs about dances. Like, this was back when it was like, uh -huh. you, you like, like, yeah. teach me how to Dougie and stanky leg and all that stuff. Right. But, bro, like, this is stuff that hip-hop has been doing. Always. Yeah. Hip-hop has been doing this. And one of the most famous ones was this dude. This dude is not even a, like, known, known, like, I would say, like, nationwide rapper. Right. You would have to really know hip-hop to know this dude. Joe Ski Love. Mm. And this dude... Came out with one of the biggest hip hop dances, and it was called the Pee Wee's Dance. The Pee Wee Herman. And this and this dude's like one of his lines was the most sampled line. The first <laughs> words that he says on this song, it's one of the most sampled lines in hip hop today. To get busy, y'all. Let's play it. Let's go. Listen to it. Pee Wee Herman. One of the most sampled lines. Get busy, y'all. For real. Joski Love, Pee Wee's Dance. We got it right in there. There we go. Yeah. Okay, this is it, too. This shit is Look how old the film is. <laughs> it looks like some 80s. Get busy, y'all. Niggas sampled that shit all over hip hop. Come on, son. Man. Hey, they they got to do something to um to like keep these like old ass like reels or something like fresh. Yeah, cause, transform them. Yeah, cause they getting old. Brand new. They take care of the rock and roll shit. Rock. Come on, now. Say, huh? Say what? It might hurt your back. And say I meant, meant to, to do, do that. that. It's the Pee Wee Herman New Dancing Session. Yeah, I can see we do that. We still do that. We, do, <laughs> we put the butterfly with that. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Come on, son. We still hey, you do see, that. I see wife in there. I mean, girl. Darnie. The Pee Wee Herman. What's up, GB? GBE gay, what's happening? Look at Pee Wee doing up. it too. Come on, bro. Everybody did that at the horse party. That's hey, news we did that. Called, called the Pee Wee. Pee -wee. I think it's kind of dumb, but I think it's cool. <laughs> As I rock the mic, it said, hi. Huh? The other word is called, called the Pee Wee Herman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need to hit another commercial break sometime after this track. Okay, cool, yeah, cool. So right. Just some, like a couple minutes after. Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hell yeah, I can see we were doing that. My mama was doing this dance. I know it. <laughs> yeah. It's the P way. So I got questions for Beyonce. Mm -hmm. She said, what? <laughs> what you so I got Beyonce? questions for Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> Very stupid to leave.
Okay, yeah. See. And if y'all didn't notice, that was um, Did that was Ice T in that video. For real? Yeah, the one who was just doing that crazy dance. I'm still room. doing that dance, okay? Yeah, so I mean, a lot of history, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's like nothing. Like, I mean, like nothing really has changed. Everybody running around and saying like, you know, like. Hey, I hey. mean, no, 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 no. A lot has changed. The substance of music yeah. has definitely oh, changed. Oh God, yes. Has definitely There's no changed. lyrics, just the beat. But 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 the basic outline has. Because like I said, hip hop has always been like a. Hip hop has always been the most arrogant genre of music. Yeah. Because when it started, it was like I, I mean, like even back in the day, it was like, can't nobody, can't nobody rap better than me. I'm the best. Yeah. I'm the, I do this. No crew is better than me. Be the best. And da, 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 da. It, hip hop has always been arrogant like that. Yeah. Always. Yeah. No matter if you was talking about money or you was talking about how dope you was on the mic, you yep. still was talking about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like. Yeah, like, it's just like, like like people really need to watch when people like oh like, cause these youngsters they they really follow in the pattern, bro. But it's just like the pattern has gotten so far off track. It's like other people look at it and be like, what's going on? But like you have to give these youngsters room to do what they do. Yeah, and like that's why that's why hip hop needs to be recognized as this big genre that it is, cause it's more than just gangster rap. It's more than just Hardcore hip hop. It's more than just, uh, 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 uh um, bro, bro. Whatever it is they want to, they, whatever it is they want to categorize rap. rap. Mm -hmm. There's genres inside the genre of hip hop. It's different type. Uh, it, there's different kind of rap. Just like there's R and B. Then there's soul. Then there's jazz. Right. Then there's blues. Mm -hmm. blues. Then, you know what I'm saying? Like hip hop is like that as well. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? So like. I listened like, to that guy. What's that guy, Keith? The Hoochie Coochie. What was his name? MC Brains. No, the um, the the blues song that. Oh, Hoochie Coochie, man. You talking about yeah. Muddy Waters? Yeah, Muddy Waters from 1940. Oh, Hoochie Coochie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Muddy Waters yeah. from 1940. I listened to him over the weekend. That the song, the Hoochie Coochie Man, and I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, it sounds like a hip hop song, like yeah. the way it yeah. flows and grabs you, and it's like, oh, Muddy Waters was doing this a long yeah. time ago. Keith G, before we go to um. Commercial, hit them with one of them trivia questions so they can call up and win some shit. Y'all listen to the <laughs> trivia question because y'all can, you know, y'all can win some shit. Now check this out. I'm gonna tell you what it is. You might win a stolen car. <laughs> I'm just bullshit. Just wanted to, just wanted, you know, we gonna uh, get give it to you kind of easy this week. You know, I wanna know. We here at the Quick Fix want to know. We're going to give away. What, what, was on, uh, what is this brought to you by? Something from the Quick Fix? It's brought to you some, by something from Crazy Bone hey. Store. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to either win a t shirt and a hat. In fact, we're going to have to give you a whole package. So whoever gets this a, question right, you get a hat and a t shirt. I got a hot stolen radio at the back of my car. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's ready to be so. Come on. But, with uh, what we want to do, what we do want to know is we want to know who was the first uh, rap artist to win an American Music Award. Oh. You know. Not a Grammy or nothing different like that. So an American Music Award. Y'all hit us up, 855-878-4652. Vote you know, and uh, You win that little package with you the hat and t-shirt, you know what I'm saying? Straight out of Crazy Bone Store. Yes, you indeed, y'all. Take it out. Y'all watching the Quick Fix. We paying homage to hip-hop, 80s, 90s. I'm Crazy Bone. I'm Keith G. I'm Lottie B. Oh, yeah. Shout out K-Lass, K-D. Yeah, we're going yeah, cool, cool, yeah, we, uh, we to take some questions and uh, call us when we come back, though, too. Y'all you know call us up. Give them the number. Hit us up, 855-878-4652. We down here, man. That makes sense. 652. I know, right? You know what I'm saying? You hear that? We're trying to get out. Baby, I'm coming home soon. You know what I'm saying? I got a little rather dazzle. Check us out. It's the Quick Fix, y'all. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, let's go. Well, that music that man, to make it sound professional. I know. I mean, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Shit, yeah. <laughs> Man, they need to wipe these. They need to clean these because I ain't coughed in almost a week. Look, they need to know, clean this shit off. I'm coughing. I've coughed all week, and now I'm coughing here. So come back in with the fat boy. Uh, uh, I, I'll tell him on the way out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Can we get some of these, Trey? That we could bring our own because everybody talks. To yeah, them? we need to get yeah. our own poppers. Keep it. Yeah, get some. Come on. Because this is because I've been fine, completely normal. I know. And I'm coughing. I haven't coughed at all. Yeah, dread the house right now. See, it's this shit. It stays here. I gotta take some antibiotics. Are you touching? Keep touching it. I know. Let me go wash my hands. Shit.
What's up, Snapchat? Make sure you log on. We got another hour to go. Quick fix. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Shit makes me feel weird. I went out of this bubble. she's still in your phone? Like, why are you still talking to her? You gotta be fucked up. <laughs> Who just called your phone right now? We are in Mars. Oh, your mother is checking on you in Mars? Really? Fucking liar. That's cool, baby. Hey, so, I'm gonna let niggas know what it is tomorrow, like, after that thing. Because we might be moving next, bro. We're gonna keep our shit, like, just so we had the different dynamics, though, like. I'll holler at y'all afterwards. Cause we, okay, we still need to do the after hours after this. Even without yeah, without gonna, all the cast members? Hell yes. I was I was gonna go to the comedy club afterwards. Oh, for real? Yeah, you gotta go right there? Yeah. No, it's the cool. show starts at nine. So okay, you don't know. It's cool. It's cool. Everything. Do that, do that, do that. Yeah. We we can knock it out. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all good. Girls, we have like jobs. I got a job too. <laughs> <laughs> I can be box too, nigga. I don't, I don't lost my mojo. Yeah. Yep. 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 Check yep. it out, y'all. Welcome back to yep. the Quick Fix. Oh, yeah. I'm Crazy Bone. Bum King G. I'm Lottie Baby. Yeah, right there. Y'all just heard this. The oh, Fat Boys. Oh, yeah. Fat Boys. Straight hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Curtis Blow had a whole lot to do with their career, too. You know, putting them on there and a whole lot of different things. You know? And that's one of the dudes, aside from, aside from Dougie Fresh, where the human beatbox came into play. Because you had dudes like Dougie Fresh. 
Biz Markey, Buff from the Fat Boys. Yeah, rest in peace, Buffy. Yeah. And all them dudes was dope in their own way. You oh, know yeah. What I'm saying? Yeah, they all, all brought different things. Yeah, all of them was dope in their own way. I think Buff from the Fat Boys really had the bass down. Oh, yeah, that, that, the bass was his. He had the bass. Period. The bass was Buff. Bro, 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 and that lead me back to, like, when I first met my dudes, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, Lazy Bone and, like, Flesh and Bone, that's what they did. They, they, they used to do the beatbox. Right. Yeah. The niggas done the beatbox, bro. Like, and I tell the story all the time. These niggas done the beatbox. Like, and I had a, I had English class with Flesh and Bone, and I had Home Ec with Lazy Bone. <laughs> yeah, so, couldn't cook so, <laughs> okay. so, in neither one of these classes did I do any work. Yeah. Because I was in here writing raps. You know, what I'm, saying? I'm in class writing raps. So, like. You know, like we used to, we used to like battle, like between in between class, and we was always looking for somebody right. who could do the beat. Yeah, that was a big deal to, so, to do the beatbox. Everybody wanted to be able to beatbox. Right. Beat box, yeah. So, yeah. so one day, me and my dude was rapping in the back of home, Max, and you know, late, Lazy Bone came back to him was like, "Yo, I do the beatbox." So the nigga started busting, and we was like, "Yo, this nigga got bass. <laughs> this nigga sound like a damn radio." We like, "Yo, we like, yo, nigga, kick the beat." So he started doing the beat. And we just like start rapping. So the same thing happened in my English class, bro. Mm -hmm. Like we rapping in English class. Right. Me still not doing my work. And the nigga Flesh and Bone, my dude knew that Flesh and Bone could do beats. And the nigga, he, the nigga, he got to do a beat. And this nigga had bass. I'm like, I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo. Nigga, you need to battle this nigga that I got home economics with. <laughs> and he was like, bring him on. Let's go. Right. So me... I'm playing Don King yeah, the promoter. Yeah, trying to get your little listen, snaps. Early listen, snaps. Exactly. I'm playing Don King the promoter. <laughs> hair nappy, walking down the hallway. I'm like, yo, y'all niggas finna battle. <laughs> nigga, I get these two niggas together, and these niggas is like, nigga flesh like, nigga, that's my brother. What? I say, what? Wait a minute. You mean tell me I ain't gonna make no money off this? <laughs> Wait a minute. We gonna form a group. <laughs> Bro, I'm like, what the hell's going on? So these niggas... Got the beatboxing anyway. They going back and forth. And then my dude busting beats, bro. Bro, from that day, we've been together ever since that day. No wow. lie. That's dope. Mind is one. You know what I'm saying? The dude that we was with back in back in junior high school. But ever mm -hmm. since that day, we've been together. You know what I'm saying? And we like just built built that whole vibe and just kept it real like that, for real. Nice. Who we got on the phone? And they better be talking about hip hop or we hanging up the damn phone. Carla, what's your name and where you from? I'm not playing. Getting your quick fix on. What's your name and where you from? Philly, Philly in the building. What's happening, Chantel? What's going on with you? That's what's up. How you doing, mama? It's all good. How you feel about this hip hop? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's real. Yep. That's real. That's real. That's real deal right there. You, that's real deal right there. You know what I'm saying? You know. Oh, hey, okay. so, so the first trivia question. Was, Can you turn your radio down for us, Mamas? Or your computer? Or computer. Or yeah. computer. <laughs> we digital now. <laughs> Hey, but you, we yeah. got to hear ourselves, though, too. I'd have mine wild up, too. I got to hear myself on the radio. Okay. What's the first trivia yeah. question? Let me, let me. Yes, indeed. We got you. We I'm, I'm going to ask it professionally and stuff like He's that. He's about to you ask you the first question. Let's go. Let me get my motivation. <laughs> and I hope I know this. So, the answer to the winning question. No, I can't get an answer away. No, no answer no. the question. Okay, yeah, that answers the question. So, look, which <laughs> one is the first hip-hop MC to ever win an American Music Award? Ooh. And you are correct. Yeah, wow. Sure. Oh, are you, oh, okay. You know, hey. Sure are. Hey, 
Okay, so look. So, oh, I, uh, man, that Damn, is crazy. Got it. Honestly, I would, I was sitting here scratching my head for a quick two And she's from Philly, too, <laughs> so that's crazy. You know what I'm oh, saying? that's why she know. Yo, T. <laughs> Key, you talked to her earlier. <laughs> look, we going to split it. you going to see us splitting it later on <laughs> <laughs> Snapchat. Hey. It ain't like I said my name, Keith G. We splitting it. Hey, so, hey, man. Oh, man. You got that. So please look. Stay on the line real quick. We're yeah. gonna get you. We're gonna get your information. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna tell you what your prize is very very soon. Okay. Yeah, don't hang up. You gotta. Uh, can y'all get her stuff? Hey, yeah. Get her information, bro. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We got. You. Love, Love you too. too. Love you too. Well, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? That's cool, man. Congratulations, Philly. Bro, yeah, I, I know, know it. I already she got knew. that. I was like, she from Philly. She finna bring it. Oh, hey, <laughs> females representing too. No one thinks like that, you know. And I just say no random question because you know it's a Get lot her of information. That yeah. People receive. You know what I'm saying? That is crazy, crazy right there, bro. All right, all right, all right. And Will, That's Smith, what's up. and Will Smith just went right into acting too. You know. I know he changed he was the so game. commercial. Yeah. You know, man, LL. Yeah, LL. That's too. the thing with a lot of stigma with rap too. Like we uh we kind of internalize our own MCs too. You know we uh we cut the branches off and we were like he whack he whack this one and whack. And back in the early '90s, we was putting dudes in the trunks, man, on videos, man. And MC Hammer did a lot of good things for rap, even though people didn't want to consider him no hardcore MC and this and that. But he got rap That's paid, this. man. He got rap. He got rap in front of Pepsi and mm -hmm. in front of uh, you know the big ones that want to spend that money. You know what I'm saying? And so, everybody started wearing them pants like MC Hammer. Well, hell, I ain't, I ain't going to endorse that part. No, people saying? wasn't wearing the pants. Did you wear them? The pants you wore the pants. I had no MC Hammer britches, you know what I'm saying? You didn't have no MC Hammer britches? No, I couldn't dance some shit. I couldn't have no MC Hammer britches. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I can see you in the pants. You ain't wear the pants, though? He wore the pants. I dance like the nigga. I don't know. I couldn't dance, so I didn't even try that shit. I used to do the MC Hammer. Just get it started. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. That early Hammer. Come on, son. That early Hammer was dope, too. You know what I'm saying? Early Hammer was dope. And MC Hammer made a lot of money, but he showed you what not to do with some of his money. MC Hammer was yeah. very generous. Yeah. With his money. Yeah. No, 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 no. Like he was no, like he was supposed to be like that. He employed, not to the fault where you, he employed you like fought yourself. Over 500 people. But not where you, you fought know yourself. Know but I mean, even if you do fought yourself, it just kind of shows that. But you how? It honestly, does show, you, show that, honestly, that you can't be nice he to had people to, who take advantage of you. Honestly, I feel you on that. Honestly, for what he did and the success he had, he had the right idea. Right. It was the record companies that stunned him from what he was doing. Because he was supposed to do that. He made the money to do that. Yeah. But he was taking he around like a hundred people. He had a great show. It don't they matter. Great. All they hotel he, he, he made that. He made that enough money great. to do it. Yeah. None of them the even had great. no. They didn't even post this it, stuff on the internet. But if he, you are going to put he it made money enough, somewhere. He made enough show. money to do that. Yeah. Put it bottom show. line. And it was supposed to be his own. See, that's where it is. See, that's when we get to talking about like the sexy side of hip hop. Yeah. Because a lot of artists made like... MC Hammer, MC Hammer, like today, is supposed to be on the level to, of, 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 of a Michael Jackson yes. or something like that. Yeah. Bottom yes. line, in hip hop. It's just hip hop so cold, they do you so cold. Mm -hmm. Bottom line. It's supposed to be like that. But we got to look at he, ourselves. He was, too, he, was, he, was, he was on the right level because he knew he was making that kind of money. Bottom line. He didn't mm -hmm. know that. He didn't know. He probably didn't know the game just like nobody else let knew. Let me tell that. you. Let me tell you. I think that, honestly, mm. we have to change, and I'm talking about now, like maybe yeah. back then we all went through it and hit our heads, but like today we have to change the way that we come into the game with business, you know what I'm saying? That's why I say exactly. like, sometimes you do have to choose yourself over you all so, of your homies, so because right. you gotta, you know, I was with a very big celebrity, and so damn for right. them to say to me, um, dang, I wish I could open a comedy club or whatever, it's like, you are a huge comedian. This should be like, I want to open a comedy club. You open this comedy club for me. Let's, like We have to change our mindset. Instead of right. saying, I wish I could, we just have to go and do it and make the sacrifices and do it because we can do it. Sometimes exactly. you got to be cutthroat. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, well, and to, keep is, it, to keep the money going. And you got to be is, smart with it. And this is what I, and, 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 and just like you said, like, you know what I'm saying? Ambition to ride. I'm with you on that shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And yeah. this is yeah. why yeah. I tell people yeah. over and over again, like, I'm going to keep saying this because, like, it's going to, it's going to continue to be new artists to get into the game that don't know what the hell they're doing. Right. Like, it's called the music business. Mm -hmm. People always take, they always just look at the music side. Little business. And they never acknowledge the business. It's not called that for just out of coincidence. Right. Music business. People think music, see, most artists get into it because they love music. So that's all they're thinking about is the love of music. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? They're not thinking about 
you know, like the business or and, and, and what it takes to, for you to maintain once you get in here to keep that joy of music. Right. Bro, the, the business side dominates everything. Yeah. And that's why I say it's 90% music and fun. But the other, you know, no, 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 it's it's ninety percent business, right? And it's ten percent fun and yeah. all that other stuff. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't like get on your business, bro, then you're like you're going to be living serious. That's why they do Every schedule career. a lot of they schedule a lot of people around in the business in the music business because they want to cater to an MC or to a movie or a pop star, you know, because they really want to be. Uh, well, here's these forms to sign. Here's these things to sign. You need to be over here. You need to be over there, and and the artist kind of likes it because they say, you know, the car's picking me up. I get to go here. I ain't got to do nothing. See, and nothing. and they kind of get used to a, a facade type of life yeah, until they get bro, that bro. situation. Of but see, saying, that's the no, problem. Let, let me look at my business. But see, that's the problem. Yeah. Like, that's the problem is a lot of a lot of dudes is getting into the game, like, like you come from nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you're more, and it's crazy how it works because although you know. Like the money is in the back of your head, right? You're so caught up with all these. Oh, these people know me. Exactly. You, you so caught up in the lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of gratification. That you forget about the business. Like Hell it's yeah. like because I know some people that would rather live the lifestyle than handle their business. Yeah. It's just like the Straight club up. owner who dances too much in the club and like too much real. in the club and drinks too much in the club. He gonna he gonna lose his club. Because yeah. You can't be enjoying the party. You gotta be working. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So That's it's right. like the hell. But the that's what I always when I heard Easy E first say, you know, um, get the money then rap. Yeah, get the money then rap because you know other, other bullshit, bullshit, without, other money bullshit without, without money and that nigga the fame. <laughs> other nigga, look here. Yeah, for real. I, money or fame, money. I knew right where you was going to. Money or fame, money every time, bro. Because it's like, yeah. like, but but that's how you know, like. Like people in this world today are so crazy because people would rather just have fame. People would rather be known. Even people that has have money are not ha are not happy because they want to be known. They, they want more. They want more show. fame too. That's why people that got money go and buy, buy all this get, fancy stuff so they can show. be noticed. How does a rich person want? I don't understand it. Like you get a reality show, you're already rich. What the hell is you doing? You know, the you and your family, the, the the this and that ones. Like, damn, how much more are you going to show up? You know what I'm saying? I understand to get the first checks, but once you're already balling, like, damn. We got another call on the line. Oh, we got somebody. You know what I'm saying? Let's oh, we got the next ticket question ready, do you? Oh, yeah, I got another Okay, say that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's Caller, what's happening? What's happening? What's your name and where you from? You on the quick fix. What's happening? Yes, indeed. Hey. Uh huh. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We with you, G. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, 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 so you saying it's 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 basically a need for, both, like all music, like because that's how I feel too. More positive music, more positive. No, no, messages. no, no. He's saying that he understands like the music that's being made today, and he understands like the other aspect of it when people say, but like I always say, like, like, hit, like. We shouldn't be categorized, you know what I'm saying? We, we, hip-hop shouldn't be put into a, one category. Okay. They try to stuff everything in hip-hop in one category. Right. Even to the fact they were calling Mary J. Bly's hip-hop. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Career, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they were calling Mary J. Bly's hip-hop. When everybody clearly knows, that's R&B. Yeah. She uh, she she's singing like she had ain't spit one yeah, hip-hop there. I mean, she may have. Once on there with Grand Poop, but, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, like... 
the majority of what she does is R and B. Like so, mm -hmm. like people have to recognize that it's more than one just one genre, and hip hop should be able to thrive like that. For yeah. some reason, whoever is running it has a has a foot on the neck of hip hop, mm -hmm. saying that you can expand to this, or you can't do that, or you can't. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like there's, why a, there's not? a lot of invisible stigmas that do hell with rap, though, and them, th that is one of them. You know that that's definitely one of them, right there. You know, age, age, like my, age is one, but that's one of them. My son listens to this kid called Hopskins. Oh uh, yeah, he dope. But he's really dope, and he he's dope. really positive. And I was he like, dang, why ain't he on the radio? And Chance like, the rapper exactly. too. I'm glad he you said dope. that. Shout out to Chance the rapper. Yeah, I was like, Hops he's dope. dope. For real. Yeah, man. For real. Hop you know said Chance the rapper. Uh, this bro, is come kid. on, bro. Like, Y'all heard a chance? We gotta get him and uh, oh, Hops yeah, here. To, like, bro, you gotta get Hops in here. Yeah, like, that yeah. Dope, my son. Well, and, his, chance. and his show is dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's it's rappers out here, but if you notice, those rappers, they try to keep them as the Shine. dudes that's, them dudes always stay the dudes that's up and coming. Or underground. When they should have been done, came and went. Or, yeah. You know, came up already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, bottom line. like. Is it us? Yeah, that's not, then, should we demand that stuff more? Should we, we you put still? our money into that more? Oh, yeah. Go ahead, G. Baba, you still? Yeah, you still here, Baba? Yeah, yeah. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, bro. Okay, bro. So, so, so this is shit. Stay on the line, and we'll talk to you in a minute. But we about to go to a break, and we'll talk to you in a minute. All right. All right. And get that. All right, bro. Yes, indeed. Goes down, man. It's the quick fix, it's man. The quick it's the quick fix. fix. I love so. this hip hop kind of question. Man. I love yeah. it. Like I said, we are gonna have to do a part two to this because, like, we're almost out of time, and it's like we 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 ain't even halfway through the through Damn. the whole little list that we got. So, I got a question, though, too, for y'all. You know, what's your question? Give me a question. No, we put your question out there now yeah. so the callers will know what it is when they call in. What's the question? Right. What's the first platinum female MC? Oh, oh, I know Ooh. that, but I ain't going to say it. Okay. I know that. I think I do, but I, I don't know. know. Oh, yeah, you know you Check it out, y'all. Y'all watching the Quick Fix. Oh, yeah. I am Crazy Bone. I'm Keith G. And I'm Lottie B. Hit us up, 855-878-4652. Let's go. Oh, Hell yeah, man. Okay, who is it? Yeah, we numbers are five. Still a girl know it. You hear a lot? Huh? You said queen? Who is it? So are you going to come back to that dude on the phone? <coughs> no. Yeah, no, 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 you guys want to uh, Yeah. Okay. Hey. Cool. Can y'all hear that before? No, it was, was cool. Well, we used to go give you. Did you get the first right? person information? Yep, we did. Okay, we yeah. Got her address. Uh, Good. Her name perfect. Her perfect. Yeah. You, yeah. You got to get them. They, they it, prize, yeah, bro. Yeah, it took a minute, but we got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. look. No offense, but when you hit, well, I guess what dude like to do is talk. Hey, Keith, won't you get that beer out the freezer? That little. Come on, give them cups too. Yes, indeed. I don't know the answer to that. You don't? I ain't got that in my notebook. I done heard so many different... I thought it was the brat. To get the first... What did he say? But then... Hold on. Is it first female, female or first group? If it's to first, get first female. If it's first female, I thought it was the brat. To get the what? The first what? What was the question? Again? The first female that went platinum. To win what? The first female MC that went platinum. Oh, that went platinum. I okay. thought it was the brat. The brat? Yeah, we talking about the brat. No, I know like she's good, but you think the brat was the first? You don't think it was salt and pepper? But they're a group, though. Oh, I see what you're saying. So you're the first female down. group. Yeah. But the first female saying. solo artist is different. Was it Queen Latifah? Yeah. Did Queen Latifah come out before? Was it Queen Latifah? I don't know. The Brat Funkified. The Brat. I knew oh, I was right. Come on, son. I'm wrong, right? Okay, I knew I'm right. Okay, you know your style. It's the Brat Funkified. Yeah, come that's, on. That's definitely, it's a hit right there. I know, I know. Wow, really? Funkified. So, oh, that's so, 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 so Funkified. Hey, look, hey, hey, so look, tell them to get, tell them to have the yo, brat, yo, yo. hey, look, have the brat functify video yeah. ready, because that's <laughs> the, she's the one, she's the female artist that went platinum. 
So yeah. you want yeah, to come no. back? I'm going to disagree with you. Um, when we go back on the air. You know, right. we'll redo it for the first time. Yeah. You want to come back on the brand? No, I didn't think it was. We'll come back and talk, and then we'll like play the... No. No. No, no we shouldn't. We shouldn't. No, it is. Huh? I thought it would. Yeah, no, you're not because I know all y'all. No, he doesn't have it. Oh, you're not gonna collect the prize because I'm a no. <laughs> oh, they said even the car. Ah, yeah, we the, look. Look how stupid we. Oh are. yeah, we telling them. Oh my god, we the stupidest bank robbers in America. <laughs> there you go. We telling look, them. Look, yeah, 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 yeah. They'll never know you crazy bone, huh? <laughs> That's why I like this periscope shit. No, so, what do you want to do with the video? Uh, sure. No, no, no. We, 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 just, we play that later on. What song did you play? Uh, play, play, play? No, play no, something. no. Play something different. Like, which one? Because, like, y'all did toss a few. Play something different. We're going to play, uh... 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 Yeah, friends! No, no, no. Oh. We'll come back in and talk first, and then the freaks come out at night. Which one? Freaks come out one love, man. What that one love, man? Freaks come out at night. Oh, God, man, I want to hear that stuff. Hey, listen, listen, no, I, I, bro, I got to tell you, because because y'all probably didn't even see this in the video. Speaking of... What, Jermaine Dupree? Speaking of the brat. She if, you, if you look at this video, you can see Jermaine Dupree in this video. Oh, I see Jermaine. Pop bitch. locking. Hell yeah. <laughs> big-ass teeth. With a jerry curl. And he got some big-ass, he got the same that's, teeth he got right now. That's where he got his star from. That's what. That's why when he got his on... His daddy was up on shit, though. That's why when he got on, he signed Houdini. Remember that? Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. His daddy, his daddy was a big wig, though. His dad was a big executive and shit. That's how he got in the motherfucking thing. You know what I'm saying? That's how I knew it has got to be popping and kicking with D.O. and them niggas. I like to read my trivia, man. Hey, Leatherface... You like impress me, man. You, know you impress me, man. Come on, man. I know my. Like work around here. These would be some great on, questions man. too to go on the streets with. Come on, man. man. I know my knowledge. I know my knowledge, man. You know, I know my knowledge. Man, this, I'm not. I'm not about to stab myself with this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to open up this motherfucking damn thing, man. You got no lighter. I, I was so mad. I, I got it. Come on, man. I'm an OG. I'm an OG. Anything. Anyway. I'm an OG. So oh. Come on. I can't work here no more. Yeah. Sweet potato pie and woodpecker stew. Pie, pie. Bum, bum. My dead Lord. No. Back when you told me. See you, Bobby. Get a bag from you, Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. Yo, yo. Nah. Okay. Hey, Welcome back to the quick fix, like, y'all. Crazy bone. Okay, Jim. And I'm glad they been. Oh, man, that was Pop Pop, man. We sitting up there for cool ass KD. Paying homage to hip hop, okay. 80s through the 90s. Yes. Right yeah. now. History. In the making. We going to definitely have to um, <clears throat> extend this show. All them yeah, we are. Watch this, you know? I just wanted to get into I just wanted to get into something different because, you know, like, we, we keep doing the regular stuff that's happening. You know, we going to. Go kill ourselves. Okay. Yeah, man. It's we too much talk about drama. Well, it was more shooting, but we just said, man, you know what? Well, like, you know, so you know let's just get away from that. This is bringing We haven't up. been able to get back to the origin of the show, and that is really the foundation and the origin of this whole show, you know. Hip hop, hip -hop, hip -hop. is the thing, and For real. You know, we're going to continue to give you that education about it because young MCs don't know, and there's a lot of older MCs that don't know too, to appreciate the culture a little bit more. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? Do it a little bit. You got a caller on the phone or what? <laughs> he over there with the phones with your like, excuse me. Yeah, go. yeah, you got pizza. Going what do you want? Okay. I don't know. He's trying to order pizza. You know, so keep it pizza. Alive, you know? <laughs> it's people on press school trying to see. Like, yeah, come on, we got to call. Yeah, yeah man, we'll take this call real quick, man. Call up. What's your name? Where you from? You on the quick fix? What's happening? Yeah, they cheating. Is you on Periscope? Is the first question. Call up. What's your name? Where you from? You on quick fix? Well, you hang out right away. <laughs> we just talked to you. Did we just talk, talk we just to you? We just chilling, but yeah, this we is just, just like the Twilight Zone. We it, did just talk to you. It feels like we just talked to you, but like go ahead, man. What's the answer? I like this stuff. You got the, you got the answer to the trivia question? No. No? He gone. He gone. Oh, he hung up. No, he didn't. 
He's yeah. gone. He's gone. Yeah, we got we got called up in the shuffle, but Texas is definitely in the house. You know what I'm saying? We, uh, you know, much love to Texas. <laughs> he was like, yeah. That was a y'all put me back on. Go I'm Look, back that on. was a deja vu, but we, I knew it happened before, so it wasn't deja vu. He did a good job too. He was like, "What's up?" Yeah, all over again. Yeah, he was not said. trying to go nowhere. Uh, <laughs> Hip hop, man. I'm drinking. Okay, so yeah, we have to have somebody call in because I think that I know the answer, but. Um, Okay, so I mean, but we're waiting for we'll someone to call in. in. Yeah. We're gonna get into this next video, which oh, yeah. is what you got, Houdini. Oh man, freaks come out at night, and like I said, I want everybody to watch this video and see if you can spot Jermaine Dupri. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say a multi platinum Listen. producer. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, see if you can spot Jermaine Dupri. My mom used to always tell me, "Hop you know locking that. at the Howard Johnson." <laughs> you know the freaks come out at night. <laughs> yeah, check it out. <laughs> Oh yeah, we keep yeah, we keep keep uh, going. Okay, yeah, it's going down. We hey, it was good yeah, to see him. Check video, it out. Though. He like a little kid, like probably, like, <laughs> he got to be about thirteen. He like my brother, like. Yeah, but he he dances, you know, on his new show on Lifetime, the rap game. He be like one of the kids okay. to dance and like rap. He's like he's a dancer first for sure. Little poop, what's the name Poopy? Poopy? Oh, I like little Poopy, but now I like little Nia K. I like her on the new day. Got yeah, okay. I like her. Here we go, y'all. Here we Shout go. Shout out JD. This history, friends. <laughs> How many of us have them? Look, these clothes, the, clothes, the clothes are still transitioning. Huh? The clothes are still transitioning. Yeah. What's up? Like, What's up, guys, yo? One of them wore a leather uh, suit with a hat. Like, still a girl. Why are you just laughing? Jalil. That's Jalil right here. Isn't funny? How was, many of us have them? them? That was the group. It was like 17 of them. No, uh, three. Oh, okay. Little soda with 40 ounce. Green eyes. Which ones? The DJ. That's Jalil and Grandmaster D. Right there in the black right there. Okay. And that's UTF hey, with them, so. Run DMC, y'all same oh, tour. Okay. They all used to tour together. Used to be like <laughs> UTFO. Uh, there you go. They're gonna do right there. Like, there like, like That's your name, look at Lou. You can tell by the eyes. You can tell by the eyeballs. <laughs> that nigga getting it. Freaks come out. The freaks come out at night. My mom used to play this song and then ten years later, you know the freaks come out at night. You better watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I heard that all the time. The freaks, freaks come out come at night. Out. We say, this door don't open to after the dark, and it ain't till 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 the party really start. And I always had to be home by. The, yeah, yeah, that was me. Yeah, hey, look, that was me. <laughs> I always had to be home by ten. Ain't this a bitch? I'm embarrassed. Look at what he is rapping in. You couldn't find he a good freak anywhere, Carl. Well, the freaks come out at night. You want to know the prize? This is why Prince had his booty out. I'm gonna tell the prize. It was a style. Huh, 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 huh. Don't drop my drink. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I, I know all the lyrics. I, I, mean, I know all the lyrics of every song I got in my computer. Every last song. But then again, you can know someone all their life. The money no them freaking let's just see in the night, call. What? Huh, 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 huh. And they sound like a football player. Look at Jermaine. Now he on a record label. Look at it. Very lucrative one. That nigga like, nigga, I'm going to have so-so <laughs> so death. I'm going to have so-so ah. death, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that boy was getting it. Okay. That's the place is packed. Got a little fidget. I'm ready to rap. Freaks are all over me like white on rice. Sounds like some colors and what I'm like about the most of that the real good lovers. Do it in the dark. You can never tell what a freak is thinking of. Or you can never catch a freak without at least one, one glove. <laughs> they don't walk. When they step, they, they strut. <laughs> and they say, they strut. But take my advice, you don't stand the chance. Uh -huh, it's so bad. They got, got their own dance. <laughs> nice, quiet life. Do yourself a favor. Don't, don't come, come out, out at night, night yeah. What? The freaks, freaks come, come out, out at night. night. Huh, 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 huh. The freaks, freaks come, come out. out. Oh and my god. Like, I've been loving hip hop. It's not like all that's man. Come back with the caller. Yo. Can you imagine? That's the cut right okay. there, man. That's the cut. Freaks come out at night, son. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Houdini, baby. Shouts out, man. Yeah, yeah. We in the building. I think we got another caller, y'all, real quick. We you got a caller on the line. What caller, is it? What's your name and where you from? You getting your fix on? What's happening? Hey. Hey, hey what's up? What's up, Mo? How you doing? Where you from? She ready. Go ahead, mama. Look, she ready. What's the, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, we're going to... Well, let me ask the yeah, question again then, for, uh, set it up right so you know the exact question again. So I'm going to hit it one more time. You ready for the question again? I'm going to say it again. So who was the dude in part three that fought Rocky? <laughs> that ain't stupid. The Mohawk. That ain't stupid. Yeah. Get that ain't ready. the question. Oh, that ain't the question? Oh, that ain't... <laughs> yeah. Stick to the question. <laughs> no, nah, we hit we hit you with the question on the real though. Who's the first platinum uh, MC or uh, female MC to go platinum? Girl, you know you right. love Paris. Ding 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 ding. Rat tat 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 tat. I thought it was Queen Latifah. Yeah, some people told me it was Queen Latifah. So because because Queen Latifah yeah, came out before the brass, so I thought yeah. and she was really fire. So I thought she might have been the first, but no, I mean, yeah. you know, yeah, I mean, sales that song sales did hit though. Else. That song hit very yeah. hard. A lot of females made a lot of noise yeah. in the in the in the in the business, but it wasn't until she came out with that. Yeah, wow, song. and yeah. I don't yeah. think Brad gets right. her props for that. Why? Yeah, 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 and a lot of people would. Yeah, he did on Periscope. And no, 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 no. But listen, no, no, no. <laughs> no. That's what you just said. No, but a lot of people would think like it was like salt and pepper, but we didn't have to yeah, think it's I like their group. So yeah. it was like they're the first female group, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I believe the female. Yeah, if I, I might be wrong, but if I'm if I'm not mistaken, they're the first female, female group to go, go platinum. You know what I'm saying? Was salt and pepper. So I mean, congratulations. Make sure we get your information so we can send you the. Uh, Prize and everything. Your platinum package. Your platinum package. Platinum package. Even though you even. It's all good. It's all good. Yes, we indeed. Love you Much too. love. My DC's in the house, yes, baby. Indeed. Yes, indeed. We go ahead. <laughs> hey, so check it out. We're going to get to the other video. I want to step into this. Uh, Hold on. Let me see. Let me see what I want to go in right now, too, because it's going to be something. I want to go into. I want to go into this Cool Mo D Wild Wild West. Oh. Cool Mo D, because this is like. For this to be like a, you know, like a video that came out, this was a lot of thought put into this video. It was a lot of, you know, concept and thought put into this. And it's, I love this video. Hey, this is one of the last videos that he really got off before he got slayed by LL Cool J. Yeah, and I was in this video, so y'all watch real close and you'll see me. <laughs> they say my name in the video, too. <laughs> watch, watch. That's why he's playing it. Oh, yeah, you know. Yeah. He was yeah. trying to make us see you know him like we saw JD. Hey, I like the way that they had all them cowboy stuff for the video, for too. Real? You know what I'm saying? It looked like it was real authentic. You know what I'm saying? It looked like uh, I'm not lying, Mr. A whole big budget. Yeah, a whole big budget kind of video. I wasn't a cheap one. I was in the video. You wasn't in that video. Nigga, know. I wrote the motherfucker song. Know, uh, you wrote the song? King, I wrote the hook. You wrote the hook? The hook. Do I gotta look that up because I'll be, you'll be telling me. I mean, they ain't got my name on there, but I was on it. Oh, you ain't got your name on it. <laughs> right, they got your name on it, right? Well, we're gonna check it out, man. We're gonna go to the clip. <laughs> wild, wild, wild. I got Scoot screwed, nigga. nigga. Quick fix, man. I got screwed, nigga. Wild, wild, west. It's 1988, Craig. You did not write this. <laughs> oh, he was playing with me? I did. I lied. No, you didn't. You ain't in this video. You got to dig deeper. Yeah, I'm going to show you. Should have played Funk 5. Watch. Can I hear me? I'm going to show you. He was not I in used this to video. This was 1988. 120, 9th <laughs> Street. Calm I was believing you, too. A lot of I'm trying to tell you. Girls have to... Nothing. We, hey, Eddie Kumo D was like, look, Eddie... Hey, that nigga had a hold up rap. He said, like, hey, hold up. They killed him. The wild, wild, wild. wild. Y'all gotta ask them what the first hip hop song is to go number one on the Billboard charts. Yeah, ask that, Keith. Uh, what? That's the next one. What's what? What is it? Ask right. the first um, hip hop song to go number one on the Billboard charts. First. Hey, if we ask these questions, it ain't like motherfuckers can get on the god. Yeah. Can't get on the goddamn internet and be like. Yeah, and I ain't got I the know. answer all. <laughs> I ain't got it. Oh. Yeah, the first. See, motherfuckers first is cheap. Y'all, y'all have a bunch of cheap. First number one it's on Billboard. Yeah, it's Run DMC and um, Aerosmith. That, um... Raising Hell album? No. Why you have to give it away, Lottie? Oh, walk this way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't Look. use that question no more. No, because then she called in, she told on you. Yeah. She was like, since Crazy actually told me what it was. Since y'all just blew me out the water. Oh, never mind. Shit. Beat you down. Still a girl. I don't understand. Still a girl. But Run DMC really opened the door for <laughs> DJ, Fresh, DJ Fresh Prince and MC Hammer and wow, LL Cool J. Wow. Cheers, y'all. You said what? Saying that, you know, give my little information that I looked up. You know, what I'm <laughs> I, just, I'm just, I, know. I know y'all niggas do encyclopedias, but I'm a thesaurus, nigga. I'm trying to learn as we go. <laughs> we'll take time out. 
to beat up a sucker. Can I have some of that? Beat down. Yeah, we got it. Thank you. Hey, hey we'll accommodate you. you. A lot of brothers hate to come, come back. back this very day. Hey, this is my favorite part. If you're ever in the battle and you beat one of us, watch out before you get bum rushed. That nigga told you something right there, didn't he? Break out. Come out of here. Before you get bum rushed. We don't play that shit. I think Katie uh, was about to call in. She wants to call in number. If she don't know hip hop trivia, tell her don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> He's stupid. Wow, wow, wow. Well, What's the other trivia? Uh, uh, Yo. Big Hank. Big Hank, boy. You know that's old school, because what kind of niggas you know in the hip-hop hip is Big Hank? Big Hank, boy. <laughs> Big Hank, nigga. Big Hank. Watch hey, out. Nigga, let me in, nigga. Hey, nigga Big like, Hank Big, on Big the Hank mic, the Big Hank at the double who? Big Hank in there. I know Big Hank coming, you better get out the way. Sure. Check it out. Welcome back to the Quick Fix, y'all. Oh, we always been here, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We just played a video. Yeah, man. Cool we playing homage to hip hop, 80s through 90s. Oh, yeah, man. That was Cool Mo D, Wild Wild West. Beautiful time. Beautiful now, you, you know, another group at the end of the 80s. I know we ain't even at the end of the 80s yet. But I know, but for sure, we can jump. We can jump. At still. the end of the 80s, I think the group that really changed hip hop for the 90s was NWA. Oh, yes. Yeah. Matter of fact, let's play that video yep. right now. Let's they play, came out and they just was like. Let's play the. Um, grimy. Bro, bro, when I first saw this video, I was like, yo, this is the most creative I've seen. And this is where we feel the love. It, it's. What solidified our love for hip hop was this video right here. We want easy. Oh man, love that video. This was like, yo, this is what we go through in the hood. Like, yeah. somebody is talking about this. Nobody like, talked about it. Seriously? But he kind of opened the gates a little bit because now people is just ratchet with it. Here we go, y'all. I like when Q would say, y'all got a show to do in an hour too. You know? What yeah. I'm Nigga ain't understand what I mean, he was saying. Oh, yeah, no, I easy told him. Yeah, yeah, show to do in an hour. He said, don't worry about it, man. My homie got the hookup. You know, so they had all the stuff in jail. So we could do it on the satellite. That's the first time I saw the eight ball posse coat, too. You know what I'm saying? I still yeah. wear those jackets right there. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, that's that was big. Man. Oh, man. That please. was big. So who we get? We get it right here. Banging. Easy E. Yeah. We want easy. Hey. There we go. Kind of look over the shoulder. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? What? Buggish, buggish bone. That's where we got it from, baby. Ah. For real. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Easy does it. Rolling Kilo G. <laughs> that's Coolio, ain't it? Nah, that's, um, oh, here, Holmes. It looks like Coolio right there. I think that's like uh, Yo Mar and Marky or somebody. <laughs> what is that? Yo Mar and Marky. <laughs> we want easy. What's happening? Boom. 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 Yeah. Boom. Did y'all hear that? Yeah, nigga, this hey, is your hey, you hear that? Do you hear hey, that? This was our intro Damn. when nigga E first died. We used to come on the stage today. Damn. Like, people used to this go crazy. Shit, Dre did baby. some amazing shit with them, bitch. Easy. And hey, clap them. Can y'all say easy? Come on, say it. Easy. Easy. Come on. How to brand yourself like a motherfucker. Easy. Easy. Woo! People from everywhere gather around, checking, checking out, out the sound. sound. The easiest throwing down with some help from Red and Dre making our way. A miracle, mother creation. Easy, easy on the set, hyped up with the bass and a little bit of what you love. From a brother who's smooth like a criminal. I mean, subliminal. Otherwise, no, there's a villain. Because with a ruthless, what else about a sucker? I kill him. 
Yo, it's obvious. Tell them who you came to see. Hey, them Ooh. girls was fucking it up, too. Those two dancers right there. I know. We're getting callers, but it's like the same. KD is calling. KD said she's calling and she's on a break. It's the same dude. That one dude, like, kept on calling. Like, she called she's in? Spinning, she said she's spinning, calling and she's on a break. And it's like, okay. like, you already did that. Um, KD calling? She said she's, KD said she's calling. So maybe if you answer it's her, then if not, then just don't worry about it. But her name is KD? Yeah, the, the host. Yeah, KD. The other host. Katie Albert, cool ass KD. Oh well, I haven't answered that one on the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said she she's calling right now. That one. No, oh, these right. these are random people oh, okay. that are calling. I don't know. Um, I'm just trying to be proactive. I'm trying to. <laughs> what I call something like 1995 asses. She said no one pick up the phone. What was that place with Kara this morning? She said no one pick up the phone. I'm gonna tell her to call now. I know. <laughs> no. Everybody, come on. This is the way I know you're like it. Hey! She's gonna call you, girl. girl. Just done it with E. A Periscope winner? Yeah, we should have a Periscope winner. Yeah, we should. We're gonna have, we're gonna have a question for y'all in a minute. We're gonna have to put them on mute while we ask it. <laughs> I know. Because y'all niggas be cheating. <laughs> I'm gonna come with a brand new question for y'all. <laughs> she even told on you. She was like, "Craig kind of told me." Uh, Yo, out is tell me who you came to see. He said, "You gonna no? You not? How you know you gonna win?" Still, a girl says she gonna win, y'all. So y'all gotta y'all gotta be ready. We should ask a group question. Mm-hmm. Easy. I like that part right there. I turned out I should have got it. Yeah. Okay, so that was easy, man. Easy. We jumping all over the place. You know what I'm saying? That was just the end of the 80s. This is just like, just feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole vibe of the show is just like, this is cool. You know what I'm saying? Because. Like I said, we've been having so much drama. It's cool to just get back into some music and yeah. Yeah, man. pay homage to, you know what I'm saying? This stuff, this this kind of stuff made us feel a certain kind of way. So it's always good to get yeah. into it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah. I had a good, good, good soul for hip hop music. Got you. Know Got you. And I'm Got excited you. to go into like the 90s and 2000s. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. oh, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't, I didn't even realize it was this much music. When I said the 80s to the 90s, I should have just said the 80s to the year 90. Yeah. Because we ain't even like, <laughs> like we still covering stuff in the 80s. Like, yeah. Like, there's so much history. It's crazy. It's a, and it's a lot of different uh, genres like we're getting at too. Like it, it, rap is like a big tree. You know what I'm saying? We got the trees, you got leaves, you got branches, and you got stems. You got all kinds of different things. It's something for everybody on there. We're going to go through different genres of music, um, go through female rap, you know what I'm saying? All kinds of different things go through the you know, the first dudes who was, uh, you know, non-black rapping, you know, yeah. saying, the time frames of those things and how they were accepted, you know, and the yeah, kind definitely, of definitely. Whole thing. So we're going to cover a whole vast amount of Who was the first white this. rapper to come on and be accepted? The first white rapper was, I mean, we can use that for a trivia question, but the first was white group. rapper was, it was actually Malcolm McLaren made the song Buffalo Gals. He didn't perform it. You know, Buffalo saying, Gals. Uh, yeah, Buffalo Gals. That was one of the first ones. And then, you know, of course, Rick Rubin with working with Run DMC and working with... Um, Who said Big Daddy K? Uh, but, uh, Who said Eminem? I would have thought Eminem. <laughs> Still a girl. Uh, seriously? Beastie Boys was, was thinking, the first Oh, I was thinking group. Vanilla Ice. No. Uh, Beastie Boys was the first rap group. <laughs> no. And then it was uh, MC Search came with, uh, you know, yeah. so that was the second one. Right. See, I never heard of MC Search. MC Search. Yeah, it was second. Um, third Base. They were called Third Base. The first white... The yeah, first Beastie white Boys. rappers to ever come on the scene was the Beastie Boys. Yeah. The That's Beastie. what I just said, the Beastie yeah. Boys. The Beastie Boys. And then after that, it was a group called Third Base. Yeah. With MC Search and Pete Nice. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just went. Matter of fact, let's play. Let's play the um, Third Base. Which Two. one? Third base, gas face. Gas face. This was the this was the second this was the second white group, and I want to go back and play like the Beastie Boys, but I want to find the right song. Yeah, we'll get into even because the Beastie Boys was raw. Beastie Boys was like to me, they was like if you listen to what they was doing, bro, they was like some oh, of the man. first 
gangster rappers to hit the scene. Beastie the Beastie Boys? Boys? Yeah. Oh, Before boy. N.W.A. They talk, no they lie. Talk street, they talk and if you listen to a lot of N.W.A.'s music, they sampled a lot of the Beastie Boys stuff. Yeah. Like, like no lie. No yeah. lie. I'm yeah, telling yeah. you. Yeah. They were talking about play. I think I might have the Beastie Boys coming. We got, with the Beatles. We got... Yeah. Third base oh, yeah, is on there. I'm working on myself. It's on there. Yeah, you find them somewhere on there too. Man. I'll send you know it. It might be down the line, but it's definitely on there. Maybe you just click on to them. But um, third base was crazy though, you know. But we accepted it, and the rap was uh, that was like what was that nineteen? Yeah, th yeah. Third base, gas face. Seven. That's like 87, 88. No, oh, that was seven eight. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was, it, bro. It, it, and this and this song was so crazy. It's like, like the dudes, they was they was dope. You know what I'm saying? Actually, dissed they gotta listen to the song, and they dissed MC Hammer and everything. For real, they dissed MC yeah, Hammer. Yeah, because MC yeah. Hammer dissed diss run run DMC, so they was like behind run DMC, and they dissed MC. Just watch it. Come on, you bought yeah, to see it. I didn't know that. You bought to see it. There ain't no joke. Yeah, I don't okay. okay. tell you no lies now. Okay. Yeah, a whole lot of things. All right. Right. I ain't gonna tell you no lies. I thought it was in the name. <laughs> hey, yo, man. Yeah. Oh, he's a white boy? He's mixed. He don't count. No, he ain't mixed. He, ain't mixed. he is mixed. He is not he mixed. Look at his hair. No, no he's not. That he's, ain't hair he's Jewish. Spray. Oh. He ain't right. KMD. Oh, yeah, he a white boy. Gave it the first light. That's the wow. dinner table. Search he hot, too. Bro. He hot, too. Yeah, search, search, I know bro. that guy. <laughs> I'll make you big, 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 big. <laughs> we gotta do a parody like that. That'd be hilarious. Thanks. Puma sweats. Wow. He was saying some real shit, too. Thermos. I beg to differ. Now they got all those songs called Gas Pedal and all that stuff, too. MC Surge. Black cats. Bad guys were black. Must have been the white guy who started all that. For those little white lies. The evil is not black. Oh, go ahead. Listen, man. with horns on his it head. Was not Listen. Eminem. Yeah, man. Said, make it snappy. Him. Tell all the people that their hair can't be nappy. nappy. Okay. Hey. If you don't talk about it, boy. Hey, he was nice. He was keeping it real, though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's why I liked him because he was like, came out like, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. He talked to a different, a different genre, a different generation, and be like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That probably listened to him, that wouldn't listen to hip hop or Catholic. And then, you know, but, you know, a lot of rappers didn't feel that way because it was some rappers that came in distant. Sure For real? They was like African. Very African. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, these came it's in. It's because the way like, that he was dressed and they bombarded them dudes. Like, like, it was just pure because he white in the, in the rap game. Period. Yeah. 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 Like, I mean, but they always been going through, but it's always been dope by them seeds. They was tight. Even was back accepted. then. Yeah. Like I said, it was like, we got to, we got to like, listen. Listen and dissect the Beastie Boys out because I'm telling you, if they shit wasn't to if, Ill. Woo! if if they shit wasn't gangster rap in this in this in this in this um what you call it <coughs> in this like form before like really formed. I want to listen to them. All, oh, yeah, all, all, all these dudes talked about was getting high, kicking it, and like pistols, drugs, having pistols and guns, beer, and girls. just. It was like crazy. Beer Did girls. they do it on like a rock and roll type film? Yeah, they okay. no, but, but their first oh, album wasn't like that. They had like maybe two, two, 
two like hardcore rock and roll out um, songs on their first album. Yeah. Everything else was hip hop. Wow. Because Run DMC backed them strong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so like, it was like party was like a rock song, but it still was hip hop too. Everything. Yeah, on like was everything fusion. on it. All they talking about. Hip hop and rock. I got money in the bank. I can still get high. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend I'm thinks so that I'm so fly. fly. <laughs> What do you say? All the fly ladies are making a fuss about I can't pay attention because I'm on that desk. Yes. <laughs> All them niggas talked about was getting high, yeah, son. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, if you don't buy my record, it got my advance. That's <laughs> all they talked about was getting high. Check it out. We're going to take a we gonna go to a commercial break or what are we going to do? We got two minutes, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like this the countdown. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, we're chilling. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, we got, um, we're going to have to continue this show. Bro. No, definitely, man. You know what I'm saying? We'll put it up into a a whole nother perspective. With yeah, this, uh, yeah, we was only time. able to like, not even like, not even like, like, you know, like, even like, get to the core of it, bro. We just, we still on the outside of it. It's a lot of stuff to unravel with hip-hop. I ain't right? even realize it, though, but you know, like, I mean, it's real, bro. The, the, the hip-hop is, the, the hip-hop culture is very rich. You like, got political songs that change things, you know what I'm saying? Got yeah. public enemy songs that made Arizona have a, you know, respect Martin Luther King's, um, you know, holiday. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Enforce that. Yeah. So, you know, oh, yeah, definitely. Arizona, we even, oh, know, yeah. So it's a lot of, a lot of things that hip-hop has done, you know. Yeah, and it's a lot of other, these, a lot, a lot of other songs that, like, like when I play, like a lot of stuff coming to my head. So we got to bring out the history on certain songs and why they were made. Mm. And then the times they were made, you know, because like all those songs back then was made for a reason. Oh yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Very so important like, to the era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. So we got to tie that in into what's going on today, and that's something else we can do with the next with with part two is tie everything in to how to, like why hip hop was like originally like created, why why we had this voice and what right. the voice meant and what we used the voice for. Right. It was always like to empower the people and for the struggle right but over the years it became into you know just me mm -hmm. As and, you know, and and that's money. like and, and when people say that hip-hop has changed like people are not necessarily talking about the music they're talking about the purpose because hip the hip-hop was not just about the music it was about the purpose it was about the voice right. for the people that served the purpose you know what I'm saying? So when people say it's changed, it has changed because if you look at today, they don't really care about like what's going on in the yeah. community today. It really doesn't profit to speak to the community. Anymore. When back then, a lot of artists was like, what they did, they they tuned it into the community and it shined light on right. the community. Right. Everything they did, whether it was Easy E and them expressing they, you know, fuck the police. All that was going back into, okay, shit, what is Compton about? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it was all going back into the community, bro. And it's like now today, it goes no further than the person that's rapping. Yeah. All the sound is on me. Yeah. Don't look behind me. That's not important. Look at my chain. Right, right. You see this? Yeah. That's what it's about, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And it blocks everything else out. So yeah. that's what we say when we say hip hop has changed. The meaning of it has changed. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the message has changed. Yes, it has. Yeah. And people are afraid to give that message. It's not that they don't represent it or that they don't feel that way. Some people feel like nowadays, like, they don't play you when you give those messages. They don't, oh, you, yeah. know, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people mm -hmm. is just choosing themselves over, you know, what the heart of the music is, is which to, like, really show light to the, the issues that's going on in, in your community. Right. You know what I mean? Right. The struggles that we yeah. go through. And that's, that's what it was about. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and like like people ain't hating. It's like now is the time that we need those 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 kind of values in hip hop back more than ever. Yeah. Like yeah. this is the time we need that. I hate listening to music with my son. I be like, like feeling like real. I'm violating him. Like is we listening to this? You know what I'm saying? Like you seeing everything that's going on on TV. Or you ain't trying to turn the TV on and you hearing something like okay, that's why. The, that's it, not it, motivating me to do nothing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, like. Like we say, a lot of the, a lot of the young men who do practice these things, those names is like not household names, no. and, you know, and they're not promoted to be, you know, and you know the people they like it like this. That's why you know they call it a young man's game, so they can keep, like we always say, keep it, keep it ignorant, you know. So when times like these come, 
we don't have no one to, you know, kind of listen to the, to, cause people are always looking for a leader instead of inside themselves, so there's no, the music is a lot of those things, so a lot of people will say pop was here, you know, things would be changed because music wouldn't be this way maybe, or a thing, or that's a lot of pressure to put on that man, or one thing, or which, whichever way, but I do believe it would be a little bit different, it'd be more, still, you'd have to be account, held accountable, he was one of the last guys who held you accountable for you know what I'm saying, what you was being said. If, you, if A lot of things he just said and go off like, no, nah, that ain't right. That ain't a part of hip-hop. You you playing hip-hop. We wasn't biting, nigga. That ain't what, I can hear him saying all that kind of thing now. You know what I'm saying? But we kind of let it go. A lot of guys let it go. And a lot of guys don't have any power to say anything about it. You know, too. So, you know, this is where we at with it right now. So, hey, this is hip-hop. Yeah, exactly. This is hip-hop. Hip -hop. Hip -hop. Check it out, y'all. We thank, thank y'all for joining us on this, on this hip-hop show. The, Part two is going to be very interesting because we're going to really go in deep. Oh, uh, yeah. We're going to really go in deep and we're going to be, like bring some more knowledge and history and point out certain things. And this is a lot of things in these videos. You can discover a lot of people that's, you know what I'm saying, like that, that, that made it throughout the hip hop history. And a lot of these old videos, whether they was just dancers carrying records or whatever they was doing. But it's a lot of history, even inside the music video. Right. You just gotta look real close and you'll see. You know what I'm saying? But we should end it up. I wanna end it off, you know what I'm saying? With this video. You know what I'm saying? One of Slick Rick's greatest. We shout out to Lil Chrislin again. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Lil Chrislin. Lil She's Chris probably in the bed right now. Yeah, she probably should be sleeping. Shout out right to now. you. You know, if you tape it or see it again, we love you. You know what I'm saying? Keep keep going strong. You know what I'm saying? Every day's a blessing. You know what it is from the quick fix. Yes, indeed. Much love, y'all. So y'all can join us next week, Tuesday. Same time, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Yeah. Pacific Coast. What else you going to do Tuesday, man? We're going to be right back. going to watch the quick fit. Like, you got a show after this, right? Yep, at the Ha Ha. She's going to get the Ha Ha. She's going to get down. She's going to get down, She's going to get down yo. Yeah, yeah. She's going to man. It's going down. So check it out. We're going to watch this show. and we, uh, I mean, we're going to leave y'all with this video. What was it? This video is Slick Rick, Hey Young World. I like that. And y'all know this song because I stole from this. Slick Rick the Ruler. I'm proud of it. I still got the profit in my pocket. I stole from this. For real. Slick Rick, y'all much love. We see y'all next Tuesday. It's going down Crazy Bone. Bone keep G. And I'm Lottie Big. Every Tuesday, man. What else Shout out KD. Do? You know what I'm saying? Do your thing. Cool, cool KD. Make Talk sure to follow Tuesday. us. The Quick Pick Show. Here we go. Yeah, follow uh, Twitter. After Hours. Instagram. We're going to do some After Hours. Facebook. You know what I'm yeah. There it is. Guess who's back? <laughs> hey, young world. Hey, young world. Hey, young world. The world is yours. Hey, look. This one, uh, the video footage started getting clear. That nigga shit crispy clear, ain't it? Clear. Def Jam got their shit together. Def Jam had that money, man. They're like, yo, we can do music videos now, son. Let's do it. We can do it the right way. Be dumb, dummy, and disrespect your mommy. Who put you on this earth, huh? And who loves you since your birth? <laughs> Tears going wild. Young little kids are already having child. You have a flash drive you want for this time? Yes, indeed. Heard yeah, yeah, that shit was cool. Shit, y'all. Mm -hmm. Shit, and your mommy can't cope. Hey, little kids, don't follow these oh, dopes. Shit. You want some of that shit up on the roof, man? Tell me about some of that shit you talking about, man. Like, we ain't yeah. talking fast, man. We just don't talk to yeah, them fast. Yeah, you know, you know, you know. Got you know. like my dad on the air. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We forgot about the Periscope with him. What? We'll do y'all next week, y'all niggas be cheating on Periscope. <laughs> like a motherfucker, dog. I think they cheating right in front of me, nigga, too. Y'all niggas be cheating Periscope. <laughs> like, look, niggas see, too stupid to uh, fight. Maybe he didn't. See, nigga, <laughs> you see, nigga be sitting up, and I be forgetting they be on here. Like, so he used to be talking. <laughs> Maybe something about, oh, I got the question. <laughs> we know your games and your tricks, motherfuckers. <laughs> we know you. Uh-huh. <laughs> we know you. And it's cool. Yes, you're going to cheat. Yes, you are. Here, dog. And it's cool to look bummy and be a dumb dummy and disrespect your mommy. Yeah. Let me say it's your mommy. Hell yeah, <laughs> Wait a minute. No, stuff? it's mommy, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and I don't even say mommy. I say hey, mom. Mommy. Mommy. That don't, that don't Ma. Mama. That don't ask me.
Yeah. And who loved you since your birth? What's up, y'all? We got a stripper show coming on here next. <laughs> the, lot, the Lottie B hooked up. <laughs> the type of shit she, this type of shit she brings to the door. <laughs> they, they entertained by them. They entertained by them hoes. Uh, well, you know. They, they bitches in a, in a, in a Yeah, see, I gotta hold on. I gotta hold on. I gotta hold on. Her baby daddy is her baby daddy over with Mike Evans, right? Mm -hmm. And he said, he said, that ain't my baby. <laughs> I didn't say that. I ain't gonna tell her that. I ain't gonna mess with you. I was like, dang, he out here not claiming the baby and everything. And Mike was like, I know he fucked that girl. He met her in the strip club. I said, she was in the strip club. Oh, no. He said, she, he said she was serving drinks and listening to niggas' problems. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> he said he could have pulled the dancer. He pulled the counselor. <laughs> yeah, no. He was playing so good. Yeah, no. Don't you know that he said he said that um, once I get like that, that he could book me at like shows like thirty thousand dollars for two nights, like yes, the Montreal Comedy Fest. You can just take forty grand. For real? Yes. Shit, that's what it is. I know. That's what it is, Lottie. Hell yeah, you do. Roddy got it. Roddy doing things, y'all. Where we going? We going to the comedy club. It's going down. It's going down. Yeah, we'll do that in a minute. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna get. We're gonna go all the way up. I'm going to roof real quick. We'll find me up there, right? No, I'm about to come up there right now. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch back to my phone, y'all, cause the iPad a little bit too big to be carrying around. I see y'all in there.